Good day, folks. Today in this video, we're going to talk about the DJI Spark and more importantly, what I would like to see in a version 2. So the Spark recently celebrated its one year anniversary and uh, I have to say I've really enjoyed flying this. Now the question is, is the Spark getting outdated? Is it still relevant with uh, some of the new drones that are on the market? Now one of the big things the Spark had going for it was its size. It actually produced high quality video but it was small, compact, and could easily be packed in a backpack. It didn't add a lot of weight, and you could take it with you whether you used it or not. It wasn't a big issue. The resolution of the drone was only in 1080, but for a lot of people, that's okay. 1080 is still an acceptable format. It still has a great picture quality. Back in January, DJI released the Mavic Air, and uh, the question is, did that make the Spark irrelevant? And is there still a future for the Spark? Personally, I think there is, and I'll kind of go over uh, why I think there is and uh, what I would like to see done with the Spark. Now, the problem is, is that the Spark used to be a very small, compact drone, but now with the Mavic Air, as you can see, when folded, it actually has a smaller footprint than the Spark. You can actually pack this a lot easier in a camera bag. It can just fit in a pocket. It doesn't take up much room at all. The Spark is not foldable, so it uh, still takes up quite a bit of room. Now, right now, as it stands, the Spark is a really good value. Uh, it's been reduced in price. It comes in at $399, and with that, you get a free remote, which is a really good deal. Now, the rule of thumb is when uh, DJI gives uh, price cuts, that means that there's a new uh, product coming. But uh, it's been on sale for a while, and there's been no rumblings. I haven't really seen much in the way of rumors or uh, different things about the Spark. There's been a lot uh, about the Mavic Pro, the one that's uh, supposed to be coming, but not, not a lot on the, uh, the DJI Spark. So I think in order for DJI to have a successful release of a Spark 2, uh, they need to shrink it down even a little bit more. Now, not too much, because the problem is when the drones get too small, they get very light, and they don't handle wind very well. Kind of like uh, the Teledrone, you've probably seen lots of videos of it on YouTube, and it's a pretty good drone for the backyard for the price for $100, but uh, you know, as soon as you get up too high, it doesn't have very good range, and uh, it just kind of can be blown around pretty easy. Uh, so you don't want to get them too small and too light, but if they could shrink this down to under the 250 gram mark, I believe it's 300 grams with a battery and it's 250 grams without a battery. So if they could shrink it down to be under 250 grams, now in Canada, and I'm pretty sure it's similar for other countries, at 250 grams is when all the rules and guidelines kick in of when and where and how you fly it. And personally, myself, I would even take shorter flight time. Uh, the Spark doesn't have the greatest flight time, but uh, you know, even if they had to shave some weight off the battery and uh, you know reduce it down to like an 11 or 12 minute flight time, I would gladly accept that just for the fact of being able to get up and get the shots I want. You don't need a lot of flying time if you just want to get up and get a couple quick shots. You know, uh, get a quick video you'd have to plan it out you know so you don't waste time but uh, definitely that is one thing that uh, I would love to see so that's probably top on my wish list having this down to 250 grams uh, would just be fantastic uh, the next is folding arms um, the Spark's body is pretty small, so if they can engineer it to have these arms fold in as well, uh, that would make it even super small to the point where, yeah, that thing is like pocket sized and uh, very easy to pack. You could actually put like four or five of these in a backpack if you wanted. And that would make the battery smaller as well. Now it is a 1080 camera. And you know for the most part if they left it at 1080 it wouldn't bother me that much. Sure I would like to see 4K in it. But personally I would rather see really good 1080 than mediocre 4K. It only has a 2 axis gimbal. So if they can somehow squeeze a 3 axis gimbal in there uh, that would be nice as well. I would like to see more sensors on the drone. I would actually really like to have them on the top, back, front, and side. I don't think we'll see that happening. But even some new ones on the back and possibly the side would actually be really nice. For me, I love to fly through forests and uh, having those extra sensors really makes it a little bit easier. Less chance of, uh, you know, hitting a tree or a branch. And of course, some new intelligent flight modes would be really good. Um, they're always fun to play with. So any new ones of them that they can throw in is always a bonus. And of course the battery. I know I already stated that I would uh, accept a smaller battery for a lighter drone, but uh, if they can somehow still uh, shrink it down, reduce the weight, and uh, squeeze in a few extra minutes of flight time, that would also be a great bonus. So yeah, a smaller size, lighter weight, folding arms, a three axis gimbal, sensors on the back, front, and sides, new intelligent flight modes, and this would be the perfect little travel drone. 
Well, folks, that's it for this video. I would like to hear what you think and what features you would like to see on a second generation Spark. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what features and improvements you would like to see. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found it had value. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.